So I listened to one of the Rosicrucians talks. It took about two or three hours. Probably about three hours to go through the whole thing. And that's where most of the new age, that's where most of the people, not new age, but the Gnostics get their Christ consciousness stuff from. Because he never mentioned born again. You must be born again. He never mentioned that. But he, they get so close. They get so close. And they get mad at a Christian because the Christian's not self-aware, you know, of their own thoughts. You know, a lot of times they get saved, but they don't really grow for a long time. Which I can understand why they get mad at them. We get mad at ourselves, really. But the problem is we're rubbing shoulders with people who are don't have our best interest. We're rubbing shoulders with people who don't do not have our best interest, but they put on like they do. They're not. There's a matrix so complex that uh, it boggles the mind. Every situation, every situation that you face. has some kind of cult box, some kind of cultic box to it. I don't even know what to think about it. It's it's a matrix. I mean I mean I know what to think about it. I just don't know how to explain it. I don't even know how to explain how how deep it is. All the music, all the holidays, all the news, all the media, all the school, all the education, all the medical, all the universities. It's such a big matrix of lies and upside down self-worship instead of worshiping God. It's not even funny. So you're rubbing shoulders with people who you think are normal because they live a normal life, it looks like, but actually they're not. The ones who are being persecuted the most, they make make those people look crazy. The ones who are waking up, they try to make those look crazy. Something wrong with you, you're crazy. If a person's introspective or a person's seeing deep spiritual truths or whatever it is, they try to make that person crazy. Look like crazy. They don't fit in with society. John the Baptist didn't fit in. Elijah didn't fit in. Jeremiah, none of the prophets fit in. Apostle Paul didn't fit in anymore. He became a tent maker, you know? I mean, think about that. He left the religious... the religious crowd and became a tent maker. It's so bizarre. I have words for it. Even though the signs are everywhere, everything in front of you is preaching Jesus. The flow, see that? The flow, it goes back to the blood flow. Let's go see something new together on that sign right there, together, to get heirs, to get her, to fish for a soul. Join heirs. Actually, the word sign goes back to S-I-G-N, etymology, a sign of the cross. The etymology takes you back to Jesus, the source. FedEx, that means faith expressed, out, faith outward, outpressed. Federal means faith, expressed means outpressed. A safe hand. The letter A goes back to the blood. Safe is safeguard or savior. Save you to save.
the patterns, all these light posts are in patterns. There's a pattern, there's a pattern, there's a pattern. Actually, what I saw yesterday, I didn't really spend a lot of time meditating on it. I wish I should have. But what I saw kind of blew my mind. And this is what I saw. No matter where you're at, whatever storyline you're in, whatever building, whatever house, whatever situation, all the objects around you will point back to the temple. I just saw a truck said Ark, Archon. So every time you look out in front of you, it points back to a deep spiritual truth of God's temple. It's like you're sitting, it's like you're, imagine if you were in the temple and you saw the, the, the pearls, the, the pearly gates, right? Pearly gates. Pearl means something that's really special, right? And so in your storyline, you might have somebody with the name Earl or Pear or Pearl. So in your storyline of your daily activity, there's people and things and places and names and situations that would actually fit in the temple. If you took the etymology of the word and followed it back, it would be a, a, a pearly gate or a, a, the cornerstone or something like that. It's all actually... It's all pointing back to that temple, the holy temple, even your body. Let me. I'm, I'm trying to explain it. That's why I haven't meditated on it yet. But what I saw yesterday, no matter where you're at, the object lessons in front of you point back to as you're as if you're already in the temple, and you're looking out. It's a worship service, and it's a temple all around you. All these words. The word crack in there, if you follow that etymology back, it means something. And it's all about worship, is being in the temple. It's, it's, it, it, it was really overwhelming. I just, it's too much to even, you know, I, I could have spent, I could have just spent a month just thinking about what, what I was, what was revealed. But I just, it's just so much. It's like overpowering. It's, it, you just can't take it all in you just can't you can't receive it all at once it has to be piecemeal you know you've got to take a little bit here line upon line precept upon precept here a little there a little. it's just like that transformer to transform those trees tree tree faithful faith those poles those posts p-o-s-t snake on the cross so it's all about the the lamb slain and, and you're actually in it no matter where you're at the same story is playing out and it's a worship and it's a, like a temple a holy temple but when you're in the flesh mind you can't see it that's just a building or that's just a bridge Jesus is the bridge that's just an exit sign with the arrow with the no it's not it's a storyline it's a word. Every every symbol, shape, sign is a storyline. It has a deeper meaning. The light post. The speed limit, 35, is CE. Agape spirit, spirit walk, 35 points back to the spirit walk. Most all your cities are 35 mile an hour. Why isn't it, it 30? Why isn't it 40? You see what I'm saying? It's 35, which is CE. There's a reason. It is so hard to believe that it's been here our whole life, but it's you have to have spiritual eyes to see it. And so... If I could say it in one sentence, right in front of you is the flesh mind, but it's also the spirit mind, but you can only receive what you are. 
If you're only thinking in the flesh mind, that's just a car to get you from point A to point B. But that destination points back to destiny. If you're in your flesh mind, you only see a red stoplight. But in the spirit mind, you say, well, what's red point to? Because everything is a word. It points back to the, to the blood. It points back to Abel, Cain and Abel, Cain versus Abel. The green is Cain. The yellow is the cross. The red is Abel. Cain's got to go through the cross to get it into the blood. It's so obvious the railroad cross in, cross in G. So I'm sitting here looking at the worship, looking at what happened at the cross right here, right now. It's a worship service right here. And I, these cars, I'm facing, I'm, I'm face to face. Traffic means to rub away. So the flesh is being rubbed away. Rubbed away. So what is the flesh? Is that like that rubber on that tire is being rubbed away? Every cycle, so that tire is turning. So every turn, that rubber is being rubbed away. So every cycle in this life, the flesh mind is being rubbed away. And you can only travel, travel down here with the air, the air in the tire, the air in the tear, tire, tear, king of tire, the devil king of the tares there's a big heart over there and it's in red look at that empower life empower people ready it's all about people being empowered being transformed the transformer this is what's happening at in the temple the new jerusalem is actually typified right here in front of you. That's what I want to say. If you take the etymology of these objects, and you follow it back to their source, it's the same concept of being sitting in the temple, worshiping God. The, the, Zion, Sion. Think about the word Sion. The word scion is a suffix on a lot of words. Transition. I believe that's spelled S-I-O-N. I can't remember right now, but I think it is. Ion. T-I-O-N. Scion. Ion. Zion. Power to go. The word ion goes back to go. It means the power. Ionize. And if you think about the eye and eyes, eye, your eyes, what are, you, what are your eyes for? To see. And what is the letter C? Agape. A rich man chasing a poor man down to give him charity. Is the letter C. Look it up in the Jewish letter for C. And so C is agape. And also C phonics, as you can see. So you can't see unless your heart is right. Because agape love comes from the heart. The heart has to be right. To have God's love, you have to have a new heart. It's all connected, and you're actually in it. Not only are you in the Bible, but you're in the temple right here all the time. Right now, right now, right now. No matter where I look, the same object lessons point back to the worship service like I'm sitting in the temple. For real. No joke, not even joke. This is real. This is not a joke. Everything in front of me, if you take, whether it's a car, whether it's a tree, whether it's a rock, whatever it is, it points back to the temple, the cornerstone, the foundation, the, the, the building, the walls, fitly framed together. It's a fractal hologram of that temple and that worship service right here in front of me. And I'm not even joking. This is not a joke. Even when you use your money, your currency. Currency goes back to the blood flow. What happened at the cross? The blood flow. This is real.
real deal, people.